Uh, let's have a closer look at Access, and um, what I've done here is create this uh, little example here. Uh, we've got uh, this class top, and uh, inside it is this um, static uh, uh, member class here called Nest1. Uh, it accesses a few things out here, and um, we've also got this other static um, uh, member class here, which uh, this time I've made abstract, it doesn't make any difference, uh, called Nest2 which implements um, uh, nest1.i, which is that interface there. Okay, so let's have a look at what it does. Um, in this uh, uh, class nest1 here, um, first thing it does is um, b equals um, j. And uh, that's okay because b is a, uh, a member of this class there, and j is a static member of um, the enclosing class here. Uh, it's a, a static field, so that's quite okay. And here we got a equals t dot i. Okay, well, i is an instance method, so normally you wouldn't be able to instance um, a field rather. So normally you wouldn't be able to get at it, but um, now you've got a, a ref you're using a reference to a, an instance of top, so and we see you've got access then through that reference to the instance. So um, you are able to obtain i from that reference. And um, so that's OK there. Uh, here's a call to the method m, which is a, a static method, so that's OK. So it doesn't matter that it's private. Um, you can access any of these fields even if they're private. That's quite OK. And um, T dot n there again. We're using the same technique, going using a a reference to an instance of top there to um, call this uh, method n there, and you can do that. You could do it even if it was private. It doesn't matter um, because you're inside the class. Okay, let's take a look at these that um, don't work. Uh, B equals i. Well, that won't work because um, you don't know which uh, uh, which I to take because this is a an instance field, and uh, of course it could be set to different values. So it must be set to nine there, but um, it's not fixed at nine. It uh, could be changed by some other. I haven't got anything in here, but um, if I had a, a method in here that changed it, um, something else. And uh, in particular, you could have lots of different instances at top. So you can't just say I. Oh, you've got to choose a particular instance of top. You can't just say b equals i like that. So that's uh, an instance field and you can't get at it. And similarly with, with n, you can't uh, you can't do that either. Because again, they're, they're not directly accessible. Um, uh, similarly, by the way, um, you could do something like um, j equals um, a, for example. Um, that would um, be acceptable in this class here. Now, um, of course, you can't say a directly. You'd have to say nest1.a, but uh, you can certainly do that. And you could do it even if that um, static field there was um, a private static field. It would still work. Uh, right, let's um, let's carry on. Uh, on to the next thing here. Uh, what have we got here? Um, class test extends top.nest1. Yeah, that's OK. You've got access to top and you've got access to nest1, uh, assuming here for the moment that um, test is in the same uh, package. And it implements, I'm going to put this on two lines looks like I have there, uh, it, it, it implements um, top.nest1.i. That, that's quite okay too because you've got to access all the way down to that. Uh, right, here's something that doesn't work. Um, top nest2, you, you can't define that type. You can't write that down as a type for that variable because uh, because um, nest2 is private. Um, top.nest1 is a uh, new top.nest1, yeah, no problem with that. And uh, you can define this uh, uh, this field here, this int it's an interface there. You can define it because uh, you can use that type without any problems. 
Now, if we look at what we're actually doing in this uh, main here, what's it do to begin with? First of all, it um, creates an instance of itself. This is class test, new instance of test there. And it says t.inf equals t. And uh, t.inf is uh, that there. And it's set equal to t. And you can do that because test certainly implements that interface. And so that's OK. All right, what about this? Uh, top tp equals null. Yes, anything can be set to null without any problems. And what about that? You can then follow it with tp.j and try and print it out. What happens then? Well, it might surprise you, but that works perfectly well, and you get 42. And the reason for that is that j is static. That makes a big difference because that's static. What the compiler does is says, well, you don't need a reference to an instance of that class, and it simply replaces that with top, the class name. So effectively, it's doing top.j. OK, so it, it doesn't require that. Uh, in my opinion, by the way, I think that is a design fault in the language. Um, I think that um, uh, static uh, methods and static fields um, ought to only be accessible by using the class name. And you shouldn't really be allowed to do it using the, an instance of the class, or reference to uh, an instance of the class. Uh, right, how about this? int x is new top.j. Well, that works as well, by the way. Because it is a static field again, it doesn't matter that you're creating um, create. It doesn't matter that you're creating an instance there. It simply throws that away and uses top.j because that is a static field. Right. Now, having seen how it behaves with static fields like that, it does the same with static methods, by the way, as well. Um, let's see how it behaves with static classes like that. Well, you'll be glad to know it doesn't behave like that. If you have a static class like that and you try and access that field, um, you can't. It insists that in front of that class you put a class name and not, an, uh, not a reference to an instance. Top. So it won't accept that. It will take top.nest1.a, that's fine, but it won't take tp because tp is a reference. And it won't allow that. Uh, similarly with this here, you, you, can't, you can't do it anyway. There's no way that it, it's acceptable because all of these are, a, are preceded by a, um, a reference, as it were, and, and not a class name. It has to be a class name. Likewise, this is a, a reference to top, and it won't allow that. So this behavior here is is quite different to the behavior for for uh, static static uh, fields or static methods. And that's right. That that, in my opinion, is the, is the correct behavior. That's the right thing to do. And they all all generate compiler errors because nest one is a is a static class. That should say static class. Yeah. It, it makes a bit of difference if it's not a static class. That's a static class, and so it's got to be preceded by a class name or a package name, and not by some sort of variable or other like that.